Today is a really special day because I'm doing my first ride with my new Handleworks BAC855 custom built controller for the Super 73 RX. So if you're curious to see what my thoughts are on a mod like this, or you're interested in seeing the sights and sounds of New York, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. What is going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. I just want to go over three quick disclaimers here before we start the video. Uh, disclaimer number one is this video is not sponsored by Handleworks. Uh, I did purchase this controller with my own money a couple of months ago. Disclaimer number two is, I get that modding is a lot of fun, but please do so responsibly. Uh, if you don't have any experience or you're running into some roadblocks building your own e-bike or your own PEV, please consult a professional. Uh, also, speaking of professionals, if you are not a professional, please don't attempt to build or repair lithium ion batteries. Like Smokey the Bear said, only you can prevent lithium ion battery fires. With those disclaimers out the way, let's go over how this video is going to be structured. We are going to be taking the longer route into work. As you saw, I was dressed up, so that means I am going into work today. Uh, we have a bit of information to cover, so we're going to be going from Queens over the Kosciusko Bridge into Brooklyn. We're going to make our way down to the Williamsburg Bridge, which is going to take us from Brooklyn to Manhattan. And then from Lower Manhattan, we're going to make our way up to Midtown where we work. That should give us plenty of time to really give this new controller a New York City testing. Um, we're going to be able to see how it handles in traffic. We're going to see how it handles in stop and go. And we're going to see how it's able to handle the inclines of New York City. So we're going to give it a nice little New York City welcome here. I do understand that videos like this are quite a long time commitment. So we're going to break it down into four parts. Part one, we're going to go over what Handleworks is, what the BAC855 is, what it was like to install the controller and why I chose to do it. Part two is going to be a speed test run where we're going to go into the different modes and see what the top speed is. And part three is going to be kind of happening all over the place because uh, we're going to get my first impressions and live impressions as we kind of experience it. So we're going to record it here and we're going to record my reactions to the different modes and how it handles through the city. And then the final part at the end of the video is we're going to have my final thoughts on the controller and we're going to go over kind of like who I think this controller uh, mod is for. So what is Handleworks? Handleworks is a company based out of the U.S. of engineers and industry professionals. Their goal is to provide high quality, high performance mods for those that are looking to take their e-bike build to the next level. Currently, they make products for the Super 73 lineup, and I believe they are working on a prototype right now for the P51 Bullet. Uh, alongside that, they also do a lot of custom builds, so if there's something that you've been thinking uh, of modifying or building, let them know and they'll be more than happy to help you out. And honestly, my experience alone with the company, just with the communication aspect, has been incredible. Like, Harrison and his team over there are responsive, and the most important thing is they know what they're talking about. So when they give you advice via communication, it's really easy to implement because it's, it's uh, basically simple instructions. The product I decided to purchase from Handleworks a couple of months ago 
is the BAC 855 upgrade kit and that specific upgrade kit comes with a light module that allows me to still access the existing uh, OEM lighting system of the Super 73. Uh, the great thing about this controller is it gives you a bump in performance and for those of us that commute in cities like New York where visibility is really important, access to the OEM lighting system uh, where it allows me to see in low visibility situations as well as be seen in low visibility situations was really important. So there's two really great things about this controller. Uh, the first thing is it's plug and play. And the second thing is it is upgradable. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen my mods video for the Super 73, you can check it out after this video. But one of the key things for someone like me that is technologically and technically, I would say, um, challenged when it comes to the PEV world is I need all my mods to be plug and play. And that was no different when it comes to this controller. Uh, when I first uh, hit that buy button <laughs> on the on HandleWorks website, I was actually uh, regretting, regretting it a little bit because I was like, man, I'm so intimidated about this installation process and I got to download my own firmware and flash it onto the uh, controller. And I'm like, oh God, I don't think I can do this. However, I'm very happy that I didn't let those negative thoughts win because it was much, much simpler than anticipated. Um, the, the team at HandleWorks, they give you a instruction page with very simple instructions that are very to the point. And the best thing about those instructions are there's pictures there and tips that are actually useful. So. All I really did was follow that and I was able to install the controller within a few hours. And it shouldn't have even taken more than a few hours because the thing is, I had to stop a few times to help my wife with things around the house. So if I didn't do that, it would have probably taken half the time. Um, the hardest thing about the whole controller upgrade situation is uh, as far as the installation was the removing of the cables and then the installation of the cables through the frame and kind of putting everything back together again i think i spent more time actually <laughs> redoing the uh cable management and the side of the bike than actually trying to figure out where to put the controller and how to install it. So when they said it was plug and play, truly it, it was plug and play. The second great thing about this controller is, like I said, it's, it's upgradable. So in the future, if you decide to go, I don't know, 52 volt, 60 volt, 72 volt, you just gotta let the team at HandleWorks know which upgrade path you decide to go with and they can help you kind of download firmware for your controller to be able to do that. So it's been a really good experience so far as far as the installation and that uh, in the future, I may upgrade it, I may not, who knows, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. And some of you are probably wondering, Ivan, I thought you loved the performance on your Super 73. If you loved it so much, why would you even upgrade the controller? And you know, that is a valid question and it's a great question. Uh, and the best way I can respond to that is just because I love something doesn't mean that I'm not continuously looking to improve it. Like I said, I like the pedal assist nature of a class two and class three e-bike. So I was just looking for a little bit of a bump in speed as far as acceleration in order to keep up with the traffic in New York City. And 
the only options for a while there were, or the most popular options for a while there were literally doing a uh, e-bike to e-motorcycle con conversion where you make your super go into 72 volts and you're basically going 50, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. And honestly, I wasn't really interested in that. And if I wanted to go 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 miles an hour, Honestly, I'd rather just buy a motorcycle because I can take it on the highway and I don't have to worry about any of these PEV lithium ion battery bands. When I found out that Handleworks was working on a controller that you can add onto your stock setup and it gives you a bump in performance while keeping that uh, pedal assist slash class 2 class 3 e-bike feel of the super 73 i was really really interested in it uh, the only thing there was uh, i couldn't get the version one of the controller because the version one of the controller didn't have uh, support for the original lighting system for the super 73 and like i said visibility is really important so i waited for them to develop the version two of the controller and version two of the controller gives you everything that you want there while also allowing you access to the uh, original OEM uh, lighting system of the Super 73. So with all of that information in your system now, let's start the speed tests. In classic Ivan Rides fashion, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the three different modes here and we're gonna test out the top speed, see, see what we're able to do. Uh, just a quick note here, my controller is tuned differently than the controllers out the box. So my tuning setup here allows me to take advantage of the fact that I have uh, dual batteries running in parallel and it actually allows me to get a little bit more acceleration and a little bit more power. So far, we've covered four miles. We are in mode one and mode one is actually a class two e-bike so mode one should be very tame as far as pedal assist and as far as acceleration since i'm on my way to work i don't really have time to test the pedal assist but we're just going to do throttle and now that the light is green here we are mashing the throttle here and we are in class two e-bike mode which is mode one and we are at exactly what we thought there 20 miles an hour so nice okay so click there we go so four miles in mode two mode two just as a quick explanation is the stock super 73 build so this should emulate what it's like to ride a stock super 73 and it should bring us up to 28 miles an hour let's go to 28 miles an hour yeah i remember this feeling yep and there's the power kicking in the stock super 73 has a lot of giddy up from uh 10 to 28 miles an hour so so far here, 26, 27, 28 miles an hour. So mode two is topping out at 28. Okay, we'll pull up here. Let's try this again. Now that we got a little bit more open roads here, 28 miles per hour, and I can feel the controller kind of easing off to keep us at 27 28 miles an hour so nice really nice so <laughs> that definitely felt like a super 73 mode 3 is the mode that uh, honestly i've been waiting for mode 3 is the unlimited off-road mode for the bike so this is going to be the most torque and the most power that we'll get from a stock super 73 build three two one okay yeah it's definitely got a bit more pickup oh okay wait 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 oh 
it got its second wind 30 32 oh my god okay <laughs> okay um it kept accelerating i was expecting it to stop at 31 32 miles an hour uh 33 which is what we're used to uh but that really surprised me so <laughs> my, my bad job <laughs> oh that was fun up the incline here okay nice little smooth pickup classic super 73 and then all of a sudden that controller just oh my god this is an incline, by the way, y'all. And I've never, never went up the bridge this fast. Oh, man. I gotta go back into mode two here again and test that out so I can get another feel for the uh, Super 73's uh, stock power. But right here, I would have had trouble doing that overtake before because it felt like the Super 73 wanted to give more but it wouldn't but you're seeing here I'm pedaling and I'm pedaling oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry y'all I know I sound a little too excited but you know things like this make me happy <laughs> it's the simple things in life y'all it's the simple things in life it's like that that meme from Star Wars where they're just like unlimited power. <laughs> I'm really happy with this, y'all. Like, I'm really, really happy with this. Look at that overtake. It was really hard to do that before in the super, so that's why I'm quite excited by it. But once again, we gotta be reasonable here. We gotta chill. My hands are a little cold. It is 50 degrees. So as it gets warmer, we should see better performance. Okay, so before we get down to the bottom of the bridge here, I'm gonna bring it back down to um, classic Super 73 mode here. It still feels smooth. It still feels like my Super 73, and that's always kind of like my fear with the with the bikes is it's gonna lose its identity. And because the thing is, I like the Super 73 as a cruiser. I want it to be chill. If I want speed and I want power, I'm gonna ride my my Nami. So this is perfect. Yeah. That feels like the super. That accelerates like the super. Yeah, it's got the power band at the top end there, starting at 15 miles an hour. So, yeah, feels very super 73 in mode two here. So, it's you know I I do appreciate that they tuned it that way because I may miss having that. Um, Super 73 stock feel and on the group rides that's probably the mode that I'll use the most but I'd be happy to ride in mode 3 all the time 7 miles into this commute and we've got to book it we are running late because uh, we were just chilling in mode 1 but oh, 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 oh that was nice no i'm not overreacting y'all this is just happiness 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 and this is why i also said uh section three or part three of the video where i'm doing kind of like my live reactions are going to be kind of integrated all the way through is because like right now technically we're still doing speed runs but we're just riding and then we're gonna power through oh <laughs> get it super get it wow 
I'm really enjoying this dual uh, 48 volt tuning that they have on the <laughs> that I flashed onto the controller here. Oh, go for it, go for it, go for it. Come on, come on. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely easier to pace with traffic. I was able to keep up before, but the acceleration is kind of making it much easier to, to navigate. The other one you had to get, or the previous setting on the stock Super 73 controller, you really needed to kind of like plan ahead and you get used to that, of course, but <laughs> uh, brutal roads. Okay. And when we get an opening here, okay, we'll, we'll send it a little bit. Yeah, First Avenue is generally where you can send the bike a little bit more. Okay. A little rough, but that's okay. And... 28 miles an hour. Okay. Can be a little bit more aggressive here. Wow, listen to that super motor howl. <laughs> 35. Oh, 36. We're gonna go in here. Wow. Okay, let's see what we get. 35, 36, 37. I saw a 37 there. <laughs> 36, 37. Honestly, it feels like it can give more, but... Wow. Handleworks, Harrison, I mean, y'all, uh, y'all did some good here, man. This is, honestly, exactly, exactly what I've been looking for for the Super. Oh my goodness. It's, for me, by the way, I get it, there's, there's bikes out there with better performance, more specs, blah blah blah, it didn't cost this much to get to, but I love the Super 73, I love the RX, I love the community, I love the modding, so as an overall package, I really, really enjoy it, and now that I have this uh, custom BAC 855, I mean, wow, here we go. And let's see if we can top 36, 37 miles an hour. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're at 30 miles an hour, and we're gonna bucket here. 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, I saw 39 there, 38, wow. Stock Super 73, y'all. BAC 855. Oh my goodness. Listen to that motor. Wow. Wow. I mean, amazing. Like, happy. Happy, 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 happy happy with with that so thank you again handle works harrison if you guys are watching this man i, I appreciate what y'all did here y'all knocked it out the park yeah that's my first impressions and those are the top speeds so far so mode one 20 miles an hour mode two 28 miles an hour super 73 build and then mode three we have the 39 there and that tunnel so awesome really happy and just to kind of summarize the ride here as the ride comes to a close so this is everything 
that I wanted the Super 73 RX to be. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit punchier and the controller helped me do that. I wanted a little bit more power and the controller helped me do that. So I'm very happy with it. And in my opinion, totally worth it. The amount of labor that these guys put into the controller I mean you can you can see it you can feel it and for someone like me that is not very good at things like this to be able to install this and it works right out the bat like literally the, we're 10 miles in here and this is the first 10 miles that I've put on this new controller so it is really like my, my first impressions of the of the bike with the new with the new BAC 855 and then I usually get asked, Ivan, who do you think this mod or PEV is for? And I think this particular mod is for those that love their stock Super 73, but just want that little bit more of a punch to it because you don't necessarily want to go to the 52, 60, 72 volt builds you don't necessarily want to spend three, four, five thousand dollars building a battery and then going into a, another kit. So, for a couple of hundred dollars, and it allows you to get more enjoyment out of your Super 73. Totally worth it. So, that's who I think this is for. And that is my first impressions of the Handleworks. BAC 855 controller for the Super 73 RX. I'll probably do a 100 mile update on this controller in the future. So keep an eye out for that particular video. Now, if you like my content and you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, consider subscribing. There is an icon here on the bottom right of the screen, probably somewhere over here with my logo on it. If you click on it, sorry about that. So on the bottom right over here, you're gonna see my logo. Click on it, it'll subscribe you to the channel, but be sure to turn on that bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. We do weekly releases, so keep an eye out for those videos. But thank you for accompanying me on this ride. I really appreciate y'all. And remember, it's crazy out there, so always wear your safety gear, and I will catch you on the next ride. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you soon.